Good afternoon. Welcome to the Viking Kitchen. I'm Chef Mike Ingram. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare our baby back rib ready for the smoker and then finishing with a sous vide machine. What we're going to do, we're going to start on the short end. We're going to take off the membrane on the back side. It's this little thin piece of skin. What this allows you to do is have moist tender ribs that fall off the bone. Literally, it just comes in, you start with a butter knife, about the third bone on the small end, and you just pull it off like this. If it starts getting a little slippery, grab your paper towel and you'll get a big, better grasp on it. Now, we're going to take yellow mustard. A lot of people use canola oil, vegetable oil, extra virgin olive oil. What we're using today is simple yellow mustard. What that's going to do is going to allow the spices to stick to the rib while also giving it a little bit of flavor. You just want to rub it down, nice and gentle. Okay, now we're going to flip our back rib over and season the other side. Rub it down with a little bit of mustard. Then, our favorite sweet and tangy barbecue spice. We make our own here at Viking. Please feel free to make your own, buy your own, whatever. We can teach you how to make that. You're going to basically put your rub on the way God snows on the earth. Very liberally. Season the end of the bones. Now we'll hit the other side. Notice I'm using a wet hand, dry hand method. The reason why, so you don't cross contaminate your raw hand with your uncooked side. So it'll get one sick. And that about does it. Now the next step we're gonna do is go fire up our smoker. Actually put about two hours of smoke on this rib. After that time, I'm going to drop them sous vide, which is a controlled water bath. Plug them in about 143 degrees for about 24 hours. And wait till you see how they look. They're fantastic. Okay, now we're going to fire up our charcoal smoker. Okay, now that our smoker box has reached the temperature of 225 degrees, we're going to go ahead and put our hickory wood chunks in our smoker box to generate some good smoke. Now we've soaked these wood chunks for a couple of hours just because if you didn't soak them, the minute you put them in there they would catch fire and you're not getting the smoke that you want to get out of these. Now, let's our ribs. We're going to smoke these about two hours, 225 degrees. We'll pull them out and then we're going to go to our sous vide machine. Okay, now, we've pulled our ribs out of the smoker. Looking really nice, got some good smoke flavor on there. We're going to put them in our cryovac bag, our food saver bag. And we're going to take some good old fashioned bacon fat that we've rendered down from some Allen Bitten's bacon down in Tennessee, a local favorite, and chefs all around the world absolutely love this product. We'll put them in our food saver here, and we're going to absorb all of the oxygen out of the chamber. got a good seal. I'm going to drop this in 143 degree water for about 24 hours and we'll see what it looks like when that comes. Okay now, I'm going to check our ribs. They've been in sous vide for about 48 hours so they're just going to be fantastic. I can't wait. All right, cut these out. You can see the wonderful this bacon fat that we've kind of been swimming in, marinating on for the last 48 hours. I just can't wait to try these. It's going to be fantastic. I'm going to go throw them out on the grill. Base them with a little barbecue sauce. The sugar's caramelized. And then it'll be time to eat the taste test. Okay, now we've preheated our grill to about medium, medium high heat. We're going to throw these ribs on there just to preheat them, kind of crisp them. Since we did put them in bacon fat, we want some of that smokiness to release its flavor. I'm going to go concave side down first, about two to three minutes. 
until we start seeing some bubbling at the end of the bones. Then we'll flip them over, baste them with our barbecue sauce, and it'll be time to eat. Okay, let's see how our ribs are doing. Oh, we've got a little bit of bubbling going on here. Oh yeah, there we go, okay. I'm gonna baste with our barbecue sauce on both sides. Now we're looking on the other side. Oh yeah, look at that love. Nice. Now we'll baste this side. All right, we'll leave that on about two or three more minutes. Take it out and then we'll go do a taste test. Question, is the going great? Mmm, yes, smoky, moist, crispy, and the bacon fat, fabulous. Gentlemen, happy Father's Day. Answer, yes, the living's fine. I've got someone, it's such fun to cling to. If I could, I would describe that face. Someone that I mean